All right, in this video, we're going to go and show you how you program the buttons from the menu to the different scenes and then from the different scenes back to the menu. So I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to click on the first button, which is Arctic Gate. Now, over in the properties bar right now, it says instance name, and it just says instance name, which is not a good name for a, um, a button name that we're going to program. All of our objects that we're going to program have to have specific um, names. So I'm going to call it Arctic Scene BTN. All right, now to program this, I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to go to Window, Code Snippets, I'm going to go to Action Script, Timeline Navigation. And I want to click here where it says click to go to scene and play. So I want to tell it to go to a specific scene and play that specific scene. You're going to notice in here that we have next scene, previous scene. Um, that would mean the next scene in the list of, of scenes. While Arctic Gate is the next list, that's not what we need to do. So we're going to click on um, click to go to scene and play. So we're going to double click on that. All right now this window comes up and it says that the Arctic button, we're going to listen for a click, meaning the mouse is going to click, and then we're going to go to and play scene three. Now we don't have a scene three. Um, we have an Arctic scene. Now we're going to play to frame one of the Arctic scene. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm go ahead and close this. And now I'm going to test my movie. So there's my rollovers of my buttons. And then when I get click on that, it goes to the um, gates of the Arctic scene. So again, let's how how are we going to program the buttons? First, we're going to click on the buttons and go to program or should be properties. We're going to name this button. So I'm going to call it Denali Scene Button BTN. And then to program it, I'm going to go to Window, Code Snippets, Action Scripts, Timeline Navigation, Go to Scene and Play. I'm going to double click on that. And then when it comes up, it's going to say, okay, when I the Denali button, it's going to wait for a click, meaning the mouse is going to click, and then it's going to go and play through frame number one of what scene? Well, the scene is called Denali. Now, if you make a mistake, I'm going to make a mistake in the spelling of it to show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to go and do my test movie. Now, if I choose click Denali, I'm going to get an error message. And that error message is basically going to say, hey, you were trying to go to a scene called this with the two eyes at the end, and it doesn't work. It can't find that scene because there is no scene for that. So I'm going to have to fix that script. So I'm going to go to Window, pull down to Actions, and right here where it says the wrong spelling of Denali, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Now I'll go ahead and test that. So I'll do Control, Test Movie, and Animate. So now if I click on Denali, it goes to Denali. Now I have to do my other menus um, as well. All right, so let's do Joshua Tree. So I'm going to click on Joshua Tree, go up to Window, Code Snippets, Action Scripts, Timeline Navigation, Go to Scene and Play. Oops. Uh, what did I forget to do? It says, hey, Mary, you forgot to name your instance. You should name your instance before you do this. So I'm going to hit cancel. All right, so it will remind me to do this. So I'm going to double click over here in properties. I'm going to type in Joshua tree scene button. All right, now I'm going to go over here and double click. And it says, okay, what scene do you want to go to? And I'm going to type in Joshua tree, which is the um, frame one of the Joshua tree. Notice the Joshua tree, tree the, or the name of the um, scene is in quotes. That's the proper technique, so don't remove the quotes. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this. I'm gonna save it, I haven't saved in a little bit. How come hasn't anyone hasn't reminded me to save it? Oh, that's right, this is a video. All right, so I'm gonna go to test, movie, and animate. All right, I'm gonna click on Joshua Tree, and then it takes me to the Joshua Tree. All right, so now last but not least, we're gonna do the Yellowstone one. So we're gonna select this. Now before we go to permanent, we're gonna name it. So I'm gonna call this Yellowstone Scene Button. All right, now that that button's name, the instance's name, I'm gonna to go to Window, Code Snippets, Action Scripts, Timeline Navigation, Go to and play a scene, and I'm gonna replace scene three with Yellowstone. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close that up and save it, and then we'll test it. All right, so Yellowstone. All right, goes to Yellowstone. Now what we have to do is make all the buttons go back now, when we go to the different scenes, we're going to need to make these buttons named different things. When you're programming a button, the button cannot have the same name, because if not, it will be confusing. So if let's say, for example, there was four Tonys in my classroom, and I said, hey, Tony, and all four of you don't know who I'm talking to, that would be like with the buttons. So I'm going to call this one Menu Button Arctic. All right. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to Code Snippets, Action Scripts, Timeline Navigation, Go to and Play a Scene. And I'm going to change the scene to the menu. All right. So now, if this is working right, when I do Control test, and I do Arctic Gate. When I click on the menu button, it goes back to the menu. Now, why is it playing the animation? Because when I told it to go to the menu, I told it to go to play um, frame one. So when you're looking at the code, it's going to say go to and play the scene called menu and play frame number one. Now, if I want to go to frame 48, I could type in 48 there. And now it will forego the animation and it'll take me right to frame 48. So let's test that. So I'm going to click on Arctic Gate. When I click back here, it should now take me right back to the static ending of the um, menu scene. There we go.